What's up everybody, how's it going? I want to give you guys a quick disclaimer before continuing the next few parts. Uh, basically, something went wrong with the audio recording. For some reason, instead of picking up my normal main microphone that I use, it selected my laptop's own microphone as the default input. So that resulted in me having a three hour session in which my voice sounds terrible. Now, when you first hear it, it's gonna sound really terrible, but I promise you, like within maybe a minute or two, your ear starts to get used to it and it becomes okay. So uh, I apologize in advance, my voice sounding terrible. It was a technical issue, but re-recording all of that commentary was gonna be a bit of a problem. So I decided to just go with it. So apologies, but that's gonna be the case for the next four parts. So enjoy the video. It's been, I think, a little over two weeks since I the game because I had to uh, spend some time away from home. Uh, well, it should have been three to four weeks, but things didn't work out. I'm not going to dive into the details of that. If you want to learn more about that whole stuff, you can watch Hangout number 22. But all I need to know is I need to continue with things here, and we've got Redis as our supporting cast member here for a little while. He's level 41, which is cool, but he has not the most amount of HP I've ever seen. So in terms of story, I kind of forgot what the hell we were doing. Did I, I've got a fair bit of gill, but I think I already did some shopping before I before I ended the previous session. I felt like we've got a fair bit of everything. Except for X potions maybe. So how the hell did we get to this the Stral? Okay, so how the hell did we get back to the Stral? Okay, so I can probably get to there via the aerodrome here. Let's check that out. I'm pretty sure I've got all the, the spells and everything that I need. Maybe not. Uh Reduce HP of all foes in range. That sounds pretty cool. Hmm. Deal heavy damage to one foe. But isn't this... So it's a non-elemental one. Interesting. And arise. Revive and fully restore the HP of one KO'd ally. I think Balthier can get some of that as well. There we go. I mean, I feel like I must be getting pretty close to the end of this game now. I'm 55 hours deep. Wow, surely there's not more than 10 hours to go here. I'd be mighty surprised if my first playthrough of a... This will be the longest first playthrough of a Final Fantasy I think I've ever, I've ever had, which is pretty amazing considering that I've not really done any huge detours. Maybe... Maybe, I don't know, six hours of it is detour, perhaps, like a few little hunts and stuff, but... Private airships. Is it this? Let's see, your ship was Stral, was it? Ah, yes, Nona has been tending to your ship. He left a message for you. From the aerodrome to the desert waste, I'll be there to keep the Stral in tip-top shape, Kubo. Nona seemed quite pleased to finish his repairs. The Stral is ready to depart whenever you wish. Would you like to board now? No, I'll just have a quick look in here. I don't think I've been inside this aerodrome yet. Even the whole reading thing takes a little bit of getting used to again when you haven't been doing it for a few weeks. I don't want to wear myself out with the reading too hard right now. <laughs> I think, without much further ado, let's just get on the trial and see what's going to happen. 
Let's do it. To the cataract we go. Very well, you may enter the hangar from the gate. I sense an FMV coming. one hell of a place to have a tower. I don't know if that's super cool or super scary. Something tells me we're going to have to start from the bottom and go all the way up. A tower on distant shore. And about its peak, a piercing mist. And in that mist, the sun crest waits. My lady, your words still sound of doubt. Pray you reach your answer ere we the sun crest. And? Should I choose revenge, what then? Then your woe shall be your own. Vaughn, a word. If something untoward should happen to me, you're taking the straw. Untoward? What's this about? I am the leading man. I need to do something heroic. Don't worry, I'll show you how to fly her. Man, I'm hoping that's a bluff. It seems a little too obvious. I honestly don't remember what happens to, to Palthia at the end of the story. Because usually those kind of scenes always they're kind of a setup for the for what's going to happen later, but surely. Valthea, man, just forget the heroes. We, I prefer to have you around as opposed to having you do some heroics. Redis. Let's see what my guy can do. Oh, he's got holy. Well, he's the first person that does. Stamp. Okay, so it doesn't have a huge arsenal of moves, but... Okay. Holy is quite interesting. Save here to set things off. Okay, what should we make the team? Um, Since Valthier is a leading man after all, and he's had his little scene here, I think it'd be nice to have him around for a bit. I can't have this team, right? Okay. Quick look at Gambits. It's been a while, haven't had to do this kind of shit for quite some time. One thing that I'm thinking before I dive into here, I, was, I saw Serum here, and I remembered how horrible um, disease was. Now... I don't think Penelo has cleanse yet, does she? Yeah. So there's no cleanse and I need either remedies or serums to deal with it. So I feel like I should probably buy some remedies before I come back here. So I'll come back in a bit once I've... I think I could, I could get remedies from Rabanasta, I think, or was it Ethers? Yeah. Let me just mess around. I'll find something. Oh! I didn't realise I could buy a bubble now. Well, that's an advantage. So I couldn't find the remedy here, but I can buy a bubble. That's good. 
I'll have to do a quick search for where I can buy remedies. Or serum, for that matter. Okay, so here we go, I can buy some remedies, but first I'm going to have to sell some shit. Like perhaps a buckler. Oh, I didn't realise I had some blue, okay. So it turns out I didn't really do much at the shops before I came over to the next area. Yeah, I should be able to buy plenty of remedies now. Oh, 62. Okay, surely this has got to be something good. Now, I'm going to buy one of these just to see what's going to happen. I'm just... I've had people say they pay for themselves. Let me check out this Gigas gear. See what level it is. Gigas hat, level 9. Okay. I think... Althea can use that when he's ready. Okay, so let me buy some of those remedies. I'm not going to hold back on remedies. Those are going to be needed to like the end of the game. I can't buy serum. Next potion. They're really expensive. I feel like I'll probably get some more along the way. I won't spend any more on that. Okay, so I just had a quick read of what these monographs do, and apparently they enable the acquisition of superior loot from different types of enemies. So, uh, the one that I've got, the Hunter's Monograph, enables acquisition of superior loot from beasts and avions. So apparently that's what they're good for. So I've heard people say they pay themselves, I think that's probably what they mean, you get some nice loot, so it's probably worth it. Alright, um, I don't have any more weapons to buy, I don't even remember now. I feel like saying screw it. I'll head to Balfordheim just in case I'm missing, because based on what I've seen, I've not been able to, to sell loot and do all that whole weapon, armor, buying shit in the last session. Okay, so yes, these are the next tier of weapons that I did not see last time. Got some powerful shit. So what do we do? Okay, don't need this, even though it's a 110 power thing. I mean, I feel like these two, at least this should get brought. Yeah. Holy Lance. I feel like, again, it's got to be useful, surely. And we've already got most of the others. That's not too bad. Uh, okay. Defense and magic resistance, 50. I currently have 44. Okay, let's take a look at this. Yeah, strangely enough, for the for the heavy armor, it, the magic resistance is just not really that great. There's not too much I can do about that. Even with he heavy armor nine, I'm still not even into the forties yet. So, gotta keep it that way. This one, I don't feel like there's much need to buy this right now. Like Pinello gets a plus three from this. So, is it really that necessary? I don't know. I feel like we can make do at this point. I think I'll stick with this and keep moving. Okay, I've made my decision. I think I'm going to give Shem Hazai to Fran. Because she's going to be able to get the best heavy armors, and I feel like surely that's going to be something beneficial later down the line. Probably not going to matter for the storyline and most of the stuff that I'm doing, but I feel like in a pinch, being able to use the, the best heavy armors is surely going to be a good thing. Because Balthier's already got Potion Law 2, so really how much of a life or death difference is Potion Law 2 versus Potion Law 3 going to make? Probably less than the difference that having heavy armor 10, 11, and 12 will make. So screw it. When I get the chance, I'll be going for that. So that took me a lot of time to research, but uh, I've checked it out. Now, 
I'm actually ready to continue with uh, with the crap with the cataract place. Okay, the squad is back, and this time hopefully there's gonna be no turning back. We're just gonna head in there and do our thing. I think now that uh, Penelo knows Bubble, I think I might have to set up a gambit for that because Redis's HP is bothering me at this stage. Seems way too low. If you understand Wilfield's last, he's more of a healer, like mage type, and he's a kid, but Redis is so much more of a badass, he should have a lot more HP than that. Now, did Penelo even have the license for Bubble? Let's check it out. She does not. Great. We'll have to make do until we get the uh, the license. Okay, our first enemies. Of course, we forgot to have our resident Libra person. Okay, we're ready for action. What level were these guys? 48, okay. Alright. And then I got hit with Disable. Nice. But she made it to level 40, which was nice. I'm pretty sure Disable weared off after a little while. Redis is going a bit too crazy with his attacks. Let's uh, let's calm that down. Cassie. Weak to wind as well, so this katana is just going to be destroying it. We get hit with disease straight away, it's not good. What's Redis doing? Yeah. So Barsh still has slow and still has oil. Very well. Redis can be our resident healer person, item healer. Okay, slow I can kind of live with. At this stage of the game, I want to make sure I'm not missing out on any treasures. Well. Of course I say that and I guess I mean it's worth 8 kill, but you never know in this game, sometimes you end up getting some really cool stuff. Hmm. So which is the way forward? Ah shit, I can't move Redis. Great, who knows what trap this is going to be. Next potion, okay. Okay, so it's onto a new area from this side as well. Fine. This looks a bit of a battle arena, but it's exactly what it is. Lots of dead ends here, but probably lots of places worth investigating. Not 
bad at all. X potions can definitely come in handy, and the map as well. much at this stage. Definitely need Libra from this stage onwards because I think every new area you go to, traps are numerous now and they're also ever more deadly. I kind of feel like running with just a minimum amount of people until I run into an enemy. approach from this side I think. Uh, I think slap bang in the middle. There we go. And then with this I can do a little wrap, lap around the outside as well. Or not. I need to get around to the other side. So it seems like no matter how far you get in the game, the, the lower limit of what you can get from the chest in terms of guild doesn't seem to change. Even when you're in like one of the final dungeons, you still get chests with five guild in it. <laughs> Four. That might be the lowest amount single amount I've got. I don't remember if I've got any lower than four guild. But I'm not too huge a fan of that whole diamond armlet thing because I, I think it increases the chance of getting a rare chest, like the rare thing. But if you get the common one, then you just get knots of rust, which I've not, which I've not enjoying very much. I prefer to just get whatever the, the other item is instead of that. Because knot of rust is pretty much useless at this stage. Okay, I think I can get the gang back out now. That's a pretty bad ass in Katana, I'm gonna say. What have we got here? More of these guys. I mean, if it opens the putrid breath, I just don't have much of a chance. What I could perhaps do is whip him with. I think he had. Use that. Can't touch Redis. What was this again? I always forget what that is. I guess if I end up in a battle where I have to use items to heal instead of magic, it can always come in handy. Cassie's have always got to go first. Come on! Ah. Uh, oh, it's a restorative one. Nice. Suit of Charge of Barding. Get dark matter. I don't remember that. Damn. Okay, just checked. It's a it's a 
piece of loot that you can use to, to build armor, get an armor type in the bazaar. It's worth a fair bit as well. But just the way it appeared in the combat log made me think it was an actual thing we could wear right now. Can I have a gun? Is that the best gun we can have at this point? Okay, we need to get guns five as well. Yeah, she's keeping up with the damage as well. Where did Cassie jump from now? Come on, take it out. Shit, Future Breath is the bad one. Let's get missed. I wonder what the odds are of Future Breath hitting. business fairly well so far. As long as we don't get hit with putrid breath too often. Doing okay. So one more chest there, might as well take this guy out. Keep moving. Long way up. 